we've stripped out some of the back now, as we can see. Um, and we can see that there's quite a lot of paint underneath the trims. Um, so we've got obviously this big lump here all around the latch. Uh, that actually goes down past this speaker here. So this speaker's got to come out. Um, as we know, obviously it's all down in the battery aisle. And um, we've got some up here as well. And we've got some on the back there as well. Um, so just to show you obviously how much paint was in there before we start extracting it. Um, these were all your parts, um, so we've got all your trims. Um, as we can see, underneath the actual trim itself is covered in paint. Um, and as you can see, obviously, these were all dyed in paint as well. Uh, this one here, uh, this is actually dry-ish. that is wet in the centre, but it's slightly dry here. But hopefully we can get that out um, and up here as well. Um, and just to show you as well around the back, which I did notice when we pulled in, um, I don't know if you obviously had some on the bodywork. Um, I probably expect you did because obviously all the back ends kind of clean. Um, but what we have noticed on the passenger side, um, I don't know what you was cleaning the bodywork with, um, but if you look quite closely, um, you've actually scratched through the paint on this panel here um, and this panel down here. Um, so it actually looks like someone's tried to wet sand your panel down um, the only problem is this isn't going to come out when we wash it. Um, so just to know, obviously, these parts down here. Uh, we've got a little bit here as well. And also we've got a little bit down on the skim here. Um, that's as far as I can see on the passenger side. It doesn't look like anything's been used on the driver's side. Um, so we're going to start extracting the paint out now. And then we'll see, obviously, what it looks like once we get a bulk of it out. Okay, Lewis, so second video now. Um, so just to show you what we've done so far so i've cleaned up all of the back bit here with where the airbag suspension works um obviously cleaned this back tray up a lot better than what it was um, and the reason for making the video is i've just removed the battery um, and there we go so we can see there's a, a lot of paint underneath the battery uh, the only problem i'm a bit worried about is all of these cables i'm not too sure if we're going to be able to get all of this off of these cables um, but the problem I've got is not only have we got to remove the battery and um, we've got to take off all of these cables from the back so I can release this little bit of sand deadening because behind the sand deadening there is paint so I need to remove that we need to remove all of them cables to get that off and then jet wash that and clean behind it um, so I'm just going to suck out this paint now um, as you can see uh, the battery itself is absolutely covered in paint, um, so we're going to have to clean that off. Um, all the interior bits so far look to be okay. Um, they've all been steam washed off, so we've got to obviously let them dry. Um, coming up on the back bit, uh, this is a bit of timing consuming. I've took it half off of the speaker cover, uh, but we've still got some on there. Um, we're having a bit of trouble getting it off of this back plastic, um, but we haven't concentrated on these bits yet. Um, and you've got your, jack your battery secure. So, oh, and just to quickly show you up on the tailgate. So the tailgate, we've got some of it off on the passenger side. Um, so we can see the difference in the tailgate. Okay, lovely. Um, it, it has been a bit of a pain, this one. Every time we pull out a panel, there seems to be more paint. Um, so just to begin with, obviously, all of this stuff down here has been steam cleaned. Um, it all seems to have come out. And there doesn't seem to be any redness in all, any of the bits. Uh, we've got a slight bit of red dye on here. Um, but I think we're just going to have to live with this one here. But that's only a bit of sound deadening. Uh, the battery's been cleaned as well. So there's no paint left on the battery, except for this little spot here, which we've got to get off. Um, if we come over to the back panels... Um, they're all a little bit obviously in betweens. Um, I've been cracking on with this one, um, but obviously only half's done. Um, these are the fiddly bits uh, which we've got to clean, and obviously this is your speaker as well. Um, we've got this bit, back bit here, which obviously we've jet washed, but not a great deal of it has come off. Uh, we've got the, the the strap which holds the battery in. Um, and let's just quickly show you in the back of the car. Uh, so in the back of the car now. Uh, so as you can see, we've had to remove quite a lot of stuff. Um, so we've got the back step down here. And you can actually see through into the floor because uh, we've actually took the battery terminal box out. Uh, the only problem is, is, as you can see, there's all paint underneath where the, 
the battery box was. Um, I've been obviously going this side. The only problem is it's going to be a bit tricky. All of these cables need to come off of this back part. The reason being is because we need to get this sound deadening off. And if we look behind there, there's paint behind there. So I've got to strip all of these cables off, then tidy this up and then put them all back on. Um, the only problem is I think we're going to have a bit of an issue with getting some of this off of the cabling. Um, like here as well so it's possibly we could maybe retape these uh, these ones down here as you can see are completely soaked in paint and um, so we might have a bit of trouble getting that all off um, so just to show you there um, we've got this box section in here which seems to have paint in and which is going to be a bit tricky to get in there to get it done uh, coming up onto the top tailgate so we've done this corner except for them two bits there uh, so it has improved it and obviously we've still got this bit up here so uh, just a quick update on how far we've got from yesterday um, so just to quickly show you in the back here now um, if I actually go in through the back of the car it make it a bit easier right okay so we've been on it this morning uh, we've now released all the cables at the back here so we can get in and get behind um, we've obviously took that mat off as well where the paint was behind um, so, I mean, we can see that there's still paint in there, but we are slowly, slowly getting there. Um, I believe at the moment, with the time I've done yesterday and the time today, I think we're running on about seven hours. Uh, so we've still got another two hours to do on it, um, as well as obviously do the outside, which we haven't done yet because we're still doing all of this. Uh, the problem is we need to get all of this out before we start building it up because obviously your battery box goes in and all your battery and all your cables need to go on so we need to do this first before we can obviously go on and do the outside so that's just to show you what uh edward's doing on that one now and if we come over to the back pieces now the back pieces these are the tricky ones uh we managed to get this one all sorted in the end so that one's all nice uh, we've got the top cover for the battery uh which is all there and if we then come round to the bits and pieces down here, so we've got the majority of these all been um, steam cleaned off. Um, these bits here, uh, obviously we've got a slight dye a bit on them, but unfortunately it's, it's kind of bled into the thing, um, but we have gave them a good jet wash. Um, coming round to the back, uh, Connor is just focusing on rectifying the scratch marks on the rear arch. And so what he's done is he's done some wet sanding and then what he's got to do is he's got to buff the panel back up so it buffs it back up. So as I say, we won't know what that's going to look like until it's all been buffed up and done. And so just to quickly show you, obviously it hasn't started on this door yet, um, but that's obviously what we previously was looking at. Um, so there we go. So I don't think we're going to have this one done by today because as I say, we're still obviously plowing through trying to get the paint out. Uh, the biggest issue we're going to have once we tidy all this up is trying to get inside this box section. Now, we've managed to get inside here a little bit more, um, but it's going to be a bit of a pain because obviously the, the paint's all the way across here. Um, so what it may be worth doing is once we clean it all up, we're going to try and flush this box. Um, so there we go, just obviously a contact video just to let you know how well we're going and what's going on. But we've got two lads on it, um, so we're trying to get it done as good as we can. Um, so there we go. Okay, Lewis, quick video uh, just to obviously carry on from where we've been. And so this morning, what we've been doing is trying to get out the clumps from the side, which we've managed to get them a lot better. Um, we've now put all of this, all the cabling back in, um, and we've got the battery box back in with the battery. Um, we've obviously re cabled all of these wires up so it makes them look better. Uh, this plug here we're going to see if we can get it a little bit better but obviously that's going to be hidden behind a thing so we may be able to get away with that it does separate and go back together um, in here looks like that's going to be the best we're going to be able to get because we can't actually get inside this box section so we're going to tidy this up um, but obviously the panel goes over the top here and um, we've still got a little bit on the back of the tailgate as well to do um, so unfortunately it's still going to need some some bits for paint to be removed and um, we've also got obviously the bits and pieces over on here uh, this one here is being a bit of a pain uh, so it's removing the paint but it's leaving it a bit light so what we may have to do is just give this a bit of a, a dusting with a bit of paint just to make it look a lot better um, and down here and um, we've got obviously the bit of paint what was on the rear has been gone 
uh, but we still need to do a couple of little pieces but I believe all these pieces are dry over here ready to go back in then coming back onto the rear bodywork so we can see that we've busted them two panels and the rear bumper um, the rear panel looks fine to look at uh, has got the scratches gone the, the passenger door uh, it's got most of the scratches gone but we have got quite deep scratch marks here um, which have gone quite quite far uh, so it looks like that's going to be the best we're going to get that panel um, what I was talking about on the phone I don't know if we're going to be able to see it okay so where that panel so shiny can you see that there's some sort of groove marks going all the way across the panel um, so it's very strange because it's got rid of the actual scratches which were on the car um, but, and then what it's done is it's revealed this behind the paintwork um, now it's possibly it's had a repair done to this rear quarter uh, that's why I did wonder on the phone um, but unfortunately by the looks of it it looks like it may have some filler in the rear quarter um, but obviously we won't know um, until they strip it down um, but obviously as we can see all the light scratches have gone off of there and round the back of the bumper uh, so there we go so that's as far as we've got so far um, as we can obviously see we're still gonna obviously need to do some work on it by the looks of things um, but it's starting to look a lot better and once we start putting all of the panels back in obviously it'll make it look a lot better as well okay right okay Lewis so just a quick video just to show you how far we've got so far uh, so if we're looking at the back it actually looks like it's starting to look how it should and so if we just quickly lift this up so everything's been built back up in there everything's back in the cables have been re-wrapped as well um, everything's covered by this this box in here um, but everything's been out and obviously cleaned um, and then coming on to the back bit so up on the tailgate uh, the tailgate is now all clean so that's all looking good uh, obviously the this bit here is all nice and clean as well uh, the only bit that we're struggling on at the moment is this back step. So we've got back step to do and we've got to wash the outside of the car. Um, we've done the paint correction on the bumper on this side, up onto the arch and obviously across this door here, um, as we know already. Uh, this is the bit we're struggling with to get all the paint off, um, but it's slowly getting better. Um, so we're obviously letting that set and then we're going to jet that off and hopefully that comes up nice. Um, I originally, when we originally spoke on the phone, we was going to do an extra two hours. Um, I'd done the two hours uh, because obviously I was, I was just mainly wanted to get it done. I overrun by an hour, so in theory we've got an extra three hours. Um, but as you can see, obviously there's still a little bit of work to do. Um, so I think what we're going to do is, in theory, if we put another two hours to this, that then should cap it to 20 hours that we've been working on this car. Um, and that should give us enough time to get all of this step obviously sorted out and put back in as well as give obviously the outside a wash and as well as obviously tidying this bit up here as well um, so obviously if we did round it up to the 20 hours um, the end invoice would be a 1650 um, so obviously as long as you're okay with that if you just want to give us a quick phone call just to okay that um, and then obviously what we will do is we'll carry on with the step and then get it all washed up for you um, but it's looking good so far um, as I say it looks a lot better than what it did previously uh, so there we go okay Lewis so M video now so we've done everything which we obviously attended to do um, so the car is looking lovely and shiny So it's had a nice wash all the way over. Right, so it's looking nice and clean. Now just to come in and we will see where the problem area was. So if we just open the boot area, so we can see that we've got all the paint off of the back of the car as well. There doesn't seem to be any paint left on there at all, which is good. And there we go. So there's the inside. So it looks like it never happened, which is always a good sign. So we've got the tailgate. The tailgate's all nice and clean. Obviously we've got all of these bits up here, which are all clean, lovely. Bottom of the carpet, we've now obviously put the step in there as well. 
managed to get it out of these little grooves here. And if we now lift this up here. Okay. Okay, and obviously we've already looked in here before, but you've got your you got your locking nut, you've got your towing eye, you've got all your pump and bits and pieces at the back, and as you can see, everything looks nice in there. And just to show you down here by the battery. So all the cables have been re rerun as well, so everything looks good. Um, so I'm afraid to say it is time to come and collect, um, which is a good, a good, a good thing, should I say? Um, but obviously, just to show you, obviously how far we've got, um, but it's all been finished. Lovely.